think I should pop the big effect right here or wait for more. <laughs> what big effect are you talking about? At the tensor's transformation. I don't know, man. It's hard to say. I don't know if there's going to be more coming or not. There's got to be more than this. <clears throat> well, I don't know. How long does Tensor's transformation last? Is it I, 10 minutes, an hour, a minute? Let me look. I think it's... I think it's a minute. Uh, it might be an hour. It's longer than that. Let me see if I... Where did I put it? It's in the spell book, I think. Tensor's transformation. I'm looking forward to getting that spell, by the way. <laughs> Come on open. Right. And let's go over here. Ten minutes concentration. Well, ten minutes. Eric, are you back? Yeah, yeah, I was talking. Can you hear me? Did you? No, I did. Oh, yeah, of course you were. I did. Um, <laughs> did you notice on the critical role that D&D Beyond is not a sponsor? That's interesting. Yeah. Is critical role back already? I didn't. Is they? Yeah, they they're... came back last night. Yeah. Oh, I must not have gotten the. Oh, because it was just last night. I typically don't. I watch it on YouTube and not Twitch or yeah. wherever. So I wonder if they parted ways or if the time has expired on their contract. Kind of surprised. Oh. It's one of those of, uh, not surprised, but I don't know. I don't know how D&D &D Beyond is doing. Is D and D Beyond owned by Watsy? Yeah, mm -hmm. I didn't think it was. I thought uh, they were a third party. I it's the way I understand it is kind of one of those weird, uh, what would you even call it? Like a, a not a shell corporation. Subsidiary. Yeah, there you go, subsidiary. Because uh, I do know that uh, Watsy is uh, well, Hasbro is making changes at Watsy. Yeah, I was gonna say I, I, they're owned by Hasbro, and Hasbro is is definitely shaking the boat or rocking the boat. Yeah, hmm. we're doing that across the board, though. I have not heard that. I can't remember what they were doing, but I do know they were they were doing some moves. Yeah, it. I think mostly it had to do with cost structure and uh, IP rights that they were chasing stuff down. Mm. Oh, there's okay. So the first article I could find is that people are suspecting Hasbro is getting ready to sell Wizards of the Coast. Uh, okay. There was also the the large lawsuit with the Dragonlance, which has finally been dropped. I don't know if I like the idea it's been dropped or not, because from what I remember, they were really screwing over uh, Tracy Hickman and Margaret Weiss. Mm -hmm. 
yeah. on whatever was happening. Uh, so there is going to be new Dragonlance stuff. I just I know Hasbro was doing a lot of things. Okay. Uh, let's see. If I remember correctly, I could be wrong, but I remember something about th- them. They dropped the lawsuit and they were given something. Which is what happens in most lawsuits like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, which means they probably, it was, it was probably like $2 million to sub 10, but they now have a non disclosure agreement. Yeah. To, so it, you can't tell people how, how hard we boned you over this deal. Yeah. Well, basically. and they had a handful of like part time contractor content developers. And I heard they got rid of like almost all of them. Yeah. And so course, the for modules what haven't gotten good reviews. So, from what I'm reading on uh, Bell of Lost Souls, it looks like uh, Hasbro may have forced the settlement because partially because they're redoing stuff at Wizards of the Coast, so they didn't want outstanding litigation. Uh, when it, when they do whatever they're doing, because it looks mm-hmm. like they're starting to make some major moves. Hmm. So Hasbro may have forced uh, Wizards of the Coast to settle, even. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I could totally believe the module's not doing very well because I've I've played three of them now, and I, I don't know, they're pretty lackluster. They're they're very disordered. They leave a lot for a DM to, to do to make up for. They, they leave a lot for a DM to fill out. Mm-hmm. And for an experienced DM, it's not a problem, but for newer DMs, it can be pretty rough. Yeah, be you, very rough. you would think that you'd have at least two or three that are really complete and thorough. Mm-hmm. You know, and then as you get into higher level stuff, you can make it more skeletal. Yeah. 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 I mean, I... I think I think I prefer Piazzo's writing style because their adventure paths are, I think, a hundred percent better than uh, the D and D five E's. But then, if you think about it, the D and D five E when they release one of these modules or adventure paths, whatever you want to call them, our campaign setting, or I don't know exactly what they call them, whatever they're 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 modules, I guess. They release it as one book, and it's it's very unfleshed out. But then, if you go to Piazzo. Instead of releasing one book, they you, they want you to sign up for a subscription, and they release their module at, or their adventure path as six parts that are significant in in, in uh, amount of what they do. They usually cover about chat. They usually cover about three to five levels per module, and then they give they release it like one a month for six six books for one adventure path, and so they are allowed a lot of details because then they can flesh it out a lot better. And yeah. and I thought that was a very good model to do because not only is it reoccurring revenue for them because you got people that pay a monthly fee to get these whatever their latest adventure path is, but they also have the time to invest in the writing in them. So uh, like I said I like I started trying to like look at Icewind Dale because I got the module for Christmas. And I'm like <laughs> That one's that one's almost a joke. <laughs> like I like a lot of aspects of it, but it's one of the things that I'm, if I ran it, I'm getting it. You know what I mean? Like but that thing is that thing is a joke. Um, I that's one of the modules I've played, and uh-huh. after I played it, I I look through the actual book myself. And it's like this makes no sense. This <laughs> makes no sense. Just none. Uh, it's because part of it is. If I remember right, there's parts, there's chapters of the book where you can actually level to a certain point, but they don't want you to level past this point. So it's like, at this point, it's like, no matter what you do, you can't gain any more levels because they went to the, um, uh, what do you call it, a uh, milestone right, for right. Rhyme, Rhyme and the Frostbane. And then they're like, there's like one whole chapter or section that is basically only one level in length, even though there's there's plenty of stuff to do in it. But mm-hmm. they don't want you to go past this level because the next chapter requires you to be under a certain power level to to be balanced. 
So like the problem is, is the chapter before this one, they allowed you to go up to this such a such and such level. And then they realized, oh, we didn't leave enough room. So this next chapter is like, well, even though we got all the story stuff in here, you can only gain like one or two levels. <laughs> it is just wrong. Uh, mm, like I said, I tend to get things anyway when I run those modules. <laughs> yeah. I like, I gutted uh, Tyranny of the Dragons, completely gutted that. Um, it's like I used the maps and I used characters. But from there, I was like, I got to fix a whole bunch of shit in here because this doesn't, I don't know how I got from A to B. I don't. <laughs> Kill. Kill. Is everyone back? Yeah, I'm good. Hello. Go. Yeah, hello. All right. Okay, Ken. Now it's your turn. Now it's my turn. Let me click back onto the tab. Uh, let's see. This is a Draco Lich, correct? Not a straight up black dragon. Correct. All right. I'm just establishing what I can do. And, okay, how hard was this thing to hit? <laughs> pretty hard. It was pretty hard to hit, Craig. <laughs> uh, I don't know, because uh, I either rolled high or I rolled low. <laughs> okay, let's see. So, my, my last attack that missed, I rolled a 5 and a 2. Well, for shits and giggles, uh, we were so busy talking, I wasn't thinking about my turn. <laughs> oh, my God, I love that. So, for shits and giggles, the giggles, um, let's, let's test out some stuff. I'm going to get on the other side of Craig. Oh, what the? Oh, wow. Hmm. And fly. <laughs> oh, yes. See if I can hit this thing. Okay, cool. I have no idea what just happened. That's a miss. <laughs> wow, that's some bad rolls. That's a 20. Apparently, a 24 hits. <laughs> 24 does hit. And that's 14 points of thunder damage. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, that'll be my turn for now. Okay. I can't end my turn, so. That's fine. So at the end of your turn, it is going to try and bash you with its tail. Alrighty. Hmm. <sighs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Is it not working? <laughs> I don't know. I don't see an attack roll, that's what I'm asking. Still not hurt. <laughs> uh, what the hell? All right. 
So that'll miss. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Tony. Yeah. Did this opponent of mine within five feet just attack a member of my party? It did. I think he just triggered a sentinel attack from me. Okay. Jesus! Got a lot going on there. How about a 28 to hit? That'll hit. Oh, wait a minute. Do I have all that other shit turned on? But I turned it off. Oh, hell. It does look Hold like on. you have it all turned on. It's all turned on. Let me toggle that and let's redo this. That didn't happen. This is what happened. Which is still a bunch of shit, but... Uh, I don't have advantage, so we'll go with the 24. Well, if you scooch down, then aren't you on the other side of him? You had advantage. Oh, I did have advantage. Yeah. So that's uh, a crit. Yeah. Okay. So slashing? Or are so we what just... You say do we just do it? You're just doing the, the max, or you're rolling the additional damage? He did roll. roll the additional damage, and don't forget to roll your d20 for the chart. 8d6. Hold on, there's the additional damage. You already have it in there. That's your yeah. other. Yeah, that's the other. In? Yeah, it's already yeah, built that's in. The other. Yeah, that's the other. I'm hearing it's the other. <laughs> Isn't it? it Isn't it 8d68, not 8d6? Yeah. yeah, okay, I have a little dyslexia tonight. I rolled yeah. under my 20 sided. So, what Slice are you and dice. Damage is normal. The creature loses d6 of hit points on its next turn. Okay. You said a d6? Yeah. So, it looks like 30, 43, and two more on the next turn. Okay. And let's do this. What can I do here with this Draco Lich? I can do, yeah, I'm going to put a Divine Smite into that. So he's undead, that's second level, so that's 4d8. Uh, that's 8d8 uh, because of the crit. Correct you are. Bam. Bam. An additional 32 radiant. Okay. And, uh... Hooray! Barely injured. That's my... Sentinel strike. <laughs> Alright, this isn't even your turn yet. Now it's your turn. Now it's my turn, right? <gasps> Is it my turn now? No. Yeah, he. <laughs> it's not. No, yeah, it is. Why? He was after me. Yeah. For... That was yeah. all just a reaction. Yeah, yeah that was yeah, that's... my symbol. Yeah. That was my symbol strike. So, let's try and do that again. You have advantage. Uh, 37. Damn. That'll hit. Is that for real? That's for real. Uh, so that's, uh, 54. Nope. No, you don't get the uh, Vorpal attack. You're, the thing yeah. is, is your attack keeps adding the Vorpal dice. Yeah. It's just that's the 23. Right. did that last time. Correct, correct. 23. Which is still impressive. Eight. And a Divine Smite. So it's 23 plus 18, so nice. 30, 40, 41. And then second attack on my turn. Uh, we'll go with the 34. Do I want to do another one? I'll do a first level, so 3d8. So that is 19, so 35 points of damage. Okay. 16 of which is radiant, if it matters. 
you uh, you have actually injured it. <laughs> All right. Um, and uh, you recall that if he had any resistance to any of that, he doesn't have resistance to any of that. Sure. Okay. I'm done. Oh, uh, can I pass turn on the order? No, it's yes. my turn right now still. It's out of order. It's out of order. No, now it's... <laughs> okay, good. All right, it's my turn. Um... Uh, still have the concentration, but still want to do something with with my bonus action. I'll sanctuary Lothgar. Lothgar. Move down here. And I'll attack. Is it attacking? Okay, no, that doesn't hit. Okay. Anything else? Bo movement, bonus action, action. Okay. Why is it not popping? There we go. Oh, that hits. Nice. Okay, that's Rothgar's first attack. There it is. Second attack, image. Okay. And last attack. Hmm. Okay, so 20, 39, huh. 49, 52 points. As an action, I'm going to activate my uh, my Asmar self with my wings. Okay. And come on, would you move, please? Thank you. Let's see, five, ten, fifteen. Yeah, that's a good enough range. And then I'm going to burn a couple sorcery points and. Uh, Bonus action firebolt that also has my radiant since I'm in my Asmar form. So, just a second. Cool. 
Does a 16 hit? No. <laughs> Shit. We'll put, we put his AC around 24. <laughs> Lovely. Well, if I didn't roll like absolute dog shit, yeah, that would have been nice. All right, that will be my turn, buddy. Okay. Aurora, you're up. I have this All one. right. Um. Hey, double angel. I'm not doing. Boy. Okay. I'm going to use Vicious Mockery on the Break a Lich thing. Tell it that, that, you know, his mother was a hamster and his father smelled of elderberries. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. No. Cast. On this website. Okay. Don't look too many. Does. When When your level increases, is it just the class level or is it your total level? For cantrips, scaling level, scaling level and cantrips is for your total level. Okay, cool. <clears throat> then that's fine. <laughs> uh, it's a wisdom save. Oh. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's all right. Wow. All right, well, never mind. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to give it disadvantage on its next attack, but oh well. Let's see. Oh, I like that. Oh, no. Uh, no, you don't. <laughs> These aren't the effects you like. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, this attack will be on Rothgar. Mm. Oh, that's bad. Wow. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, Rothgar is going to have to make a saving throw. Oh. He's within 10. Hold on, he's going to have to do what? He has to make a saving throw. He gets uh. plus 2 from me. Okay. Rothgar has been swallowed. Ah. Oh, By a skeleton? Good. Yep. He'll just crawl out between the ribs. It's no big deal. Can he play the ribs like a xylophone? Yeah. There you go. Okay. Uh, in that process... <sighs> Ooh, he's taking 59 points of damage. And it is Craig's turn. Get Cut him open, Craig. Him back. 
back. Uh, obviously, I will. Uh, I don't need to recklessly attack him anymore. Ah. I stand up. Okay. And then I'm going to uh, ask him a question. That's going to ask him again. 24 to hit. 24 will hit. 19 okay. slashing and then offhand. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight will hit. Does the necrotic actually go through? It does not. Okay, that's what I thought. I'll switch to the uh, frostblade uh, next time. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna action surge. I forgot I had that. Cool. Okay. Uh, let's see, action surge. Yeah, before the bless dies. And I'm going to hit him again. Okay. That's a 29 for 12 slashing. Okay. Oh, damn it. I'm not paying attention. There's a crit. Nice. Cool. I missed a sentinel attack. Ooh. That's Danger. promising. Hmm. Uh, that is... Roll your damage die twice and add them together, and the creature is bleeding for the next minute. Which, it's a skeleton, which probably means it negates that. Yeah. So that's actually then. Uh, roll a, wow, I rolled minimum damage. <sighs> Oops. <laughs> what do you mean, D8? It's Battle Axe. No, no. Okay, <laughs> I rolled minimum damage. Okay, so that's. 13 damage from the axe itself, and now we need the Vorpal. Uh, that is another 27, and I forgot my di Divine Fury this round, so this is the Divine Fury, which is an extra 7. Radiant? Yep. Cool. Okay. That should be into my turn. So wait, he's on the bird, so it actually is just a turn. So actually, he's attacking, he would attack you with normal attacks, huh? Not anymore. I thought you hit him once with your balax with your balax of chill touch. Uh, I may have, but I don't know if that actually affects him or not. Alright. I'm up. Yes, sir. Alright, let's see if I can hit this thing. Apparently I did. Uh, wow! <laughs> Don't know why he's coming out like that, but we'll go with it. Second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have no idea why he's coming out like that. <laughs> so is it? That's a miss. Yep. On that, on that second one. <clears throat> and. Wow, we really do just mulch things. Yep. I'll do the offhand attack. Did he go through? It doesn't look like he went through. Uh... Two attacks. Uh, you got. Let's see. What's going on? Two, two, two. All right. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna roll the the normal one. We're just gonna subtract four from it. Okay. Eleven points of damage. And I shall end my turn. Okay. All right. Lockar. Not quite. Didn't think so. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay. No. Oh! 
No. Don't tell me no. Okay. Sorry. No, Sorry. It's, it's okay. I have no idea why this cat's in my lap. <sighs> Does cats like you, Eric? No cats like you now. <laughs> I'm kidding. We don't have any I know. Okay. Let's see. I think... So everybody except Dark and Aurora <laughs> will need hey. to make a... Dex saving throw, DC at 23. Okay. Yeah. I'm very... very Any plus... Excited. What's the deal with your pluses, anyway, Lockgar? Lock it's plus two if you're within 10 feet of me. Oh. Okay. So... <laughs> all right. Should I add that on or just say it afterwards? Yeah, I have to roll incredibly You can go ahead and add it on. Oh, I not twenty. Cool. Does that so, even work? Uh, so I'm gonna oh, shit. Give, I'm gonna inspirate myself. I think he said. Oh, never mind. No, you said twenty. Any of right? you guys stand up from the last time you were not prone? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. I moved. I'm I? floating in the air right now. <laughs> Just laying on my back one. This is a new sensation. Okay, so the only person who saved was Ben. I yes. got a 32. And why do you have advantage on your saving throw? That's a barbarian feature. Dex saves. If I can see it, I get advantage on it. Yeah, okay. that's true. Okay, so you're saved from being knocked prone. But you're still taking the damage. Is it half damage or? Uh, according to this, the save is from being knocked prone. Okay. So okay. Okay. So that's. Ooh, nineteen points of damage. And now it is Lockgar's turn. Uh, hold on, I'm mathing. Okay. Um, finish him. I'm going to try to finish him. Get over here. Oh, that reminds me. Oh. oh. That's a 24 to hit. Didn't you have a... a, 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 a a critical fail table or something? He does, but he has he has advantage due to flanking. Oh, right. 24 hit before. Does it still hit? 24 does hit. All right. And let's do a first level. So let's call that an even 30 points for the first attack. Okay. Yeah. And second attack, the 33 to hit for 23 points of damage. Okay. Um, and he's still up. So I will action surge. Let me, where's action surge? That one. And try again. Okay. 33 to hit for 23 more slashing. And then the second in that. Oh, he, oh. Did. he did. He did, Jim. <laughs> yep. Sweet. Sweet. Do we need to cleave out Rothgar? Yeah. Start. Start chopping the old boy out. 
Okay. Carefully, carefully, carefully. <laughs> Um, eventually you, uh, find Rothgar's corpse. Oh, um... Oh, shit. I'm sorry? Revivify? Uh, let's see. He's been dead for, uh, 20 seconds, so... Yeah, I think 10 minutes, I thought. Yeah. One minute for Revivify. Revivify is like one minute. Mm -hmm. It is. I know so you, because that you have to destroy a diamond. I have a diamond because of all the money I had. Sure. Okay. Yeah, that's so, something. We and it do didn't like, pop. God. We need everyone get a necklace with a revivify diamond around their neck, so the cleric's always got one on your body. <laughs> Good call. Uh, is there, why is it is there anything happen? worth taking off this corpse? <laughs> What's that? Is there anything worth taking off this taking off this corpse? I'll help look through the corpse. It may just be the body parts, but yeah, pretty much. Yeah, there's like no magic items on it. It's pretty sparse. No money. Uh, apparently the Rakasha is nowhere to be found. Short rest or should I cast Prayer of Healing over ten minutes? I mean, I haven't lost too many hit points. I don't think many of us have. Okay. I'm, I'm down like 29. But oh, I forgot. Right. Some people don't have resistance. <laughs> I'm down. Uh, nine oh, um, Lockgar, you, you do not have you. You did not have resistance to any of that, any of the damage you received. Okay. Was that a question or? No, that was a statement. Um, because I th did you not accept my warding bond? Um, you know that warding bond only lasts like an hour, right? I thought it would last until we fail. As far as I know, it lasts an hour. I thought it lasted even less than that. No, oh, I thought it was like a turn. It was long term, like like we are connected until we break the we move away or end it. Uh, no. yeah, it lasts for an hour. Yeah, yep. it does. Why did I... <laughs> this keeps happening. I'm like, I keep having this image. Then, uh, likely, eventually, I find, wait, no, that's wrong. And then I still have the image later on. Ugh. No worries. I like... I like... Why can't it be that? <laughs> so, no other threats in the area that we can see? Uh, not right now, no. Uh, is Aurora, are you still up? Yeah, she didn't even take any damage. Okay. Yeah, she's way here. <sighs> well, that was interesting. Didn't expect a Draco Lich when he came back. Not really, Dude, no. dude no. have you not been traveling with this party for how long? I have. It says we already we killed the Draco Lich right before we got here. I expected... Dude, dude, dragons, dragon, undead dragons, demons, weird demons, undead demons. I mean, dude, I'm, I'm not it's like we fought it's just, everything. No, not what I expected. Well, then you're just not very uh, creative. Apparently, I'm not. Okay, I guess Rothgar has 15 HP right now. Okay. Um. Yeah. He looks around, looks at himself, looks at the goo on himself. Like, you guys don't mind. I'm gonna go I'm home gonna, for a while. Gonna get a shower. Shower, a nap. Try to uh, cleanse the memory out of going down that stupid thing's gullet. Fair enough. <sighs> Ooh. 
Yeah, nothing worse going through your mind than going, I hope this thing doesn't shat me out. <laughs> it's There's a lot of bones. You're already dead, so I doubt that, that that would be a matter that you'd care about. Apparently you don't know dwarven deities. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I have not been able to research everything. See, when a dwarf dies, and if he's a follower, or say, like, Warden, and go to a bar... You're, you're you're basically gonna be going out. Your name will get changed to hey dragon poop. Oh okay. I approve dragon poop. <laughs> I am not dragon poop. Why this not? time, this time. So we came back into, we were over on the west side, weren't we? You were uh, in, I believe, the foreign court. Yep, you were up here. E yeah. Whoops. Ah, there it is. Yeah. Along the west wall. All right, well, if we're done here, I guess we can... Where is he calling home? Back at the Assassin's Guild? Yeah. Okay. It's like, you are, of course, welcome to come with me, but... Yeah. I'll take you up on that offer sometime, Dragon Poop. I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> Your new name, your new Delta name is Dragon Poop. <laughs> no ill for you. He's a, le he's a legacy. Come on, see, just like a dwarf can't take, can't take any ribbon. So you guys start walking back towards the uh, Assassin's Guild. And you realize that there are no people in the streets. Sounds about right. There are no people in the buildings. <sighs> My. Like, like bodies everywhere or just empty? No one's here. Empty. Nobody's here. Interesting. Hmm. Very interesting. Oh, the Assassin's Guild is down in the slum quarter. Okay. Yeah. That's a, it's a fair walk. I couldn't find it at first. All right. No one's home. Well, as we're walking back, I think I've got two more of them. Yeah, I've got two more divine sense. I guess I'll I'll crack one off when we get uh, like uh, I don't know somewhere in the southern part of the foreign quarter and then again when we cross through the wall and get into the slum quarter and see if I get any hits. Okay. Um, you get no hits. Interesting. Okay. And then, as you get to the gate where there were normally a garrison of guards, there's nothing. Nobody. Well, at least we can move around a little easier. I want my money back from Zorbo's House of Fun, where we paid for a gate pass. <laughs> I mean, if you go to Zorbo's, to... it's empty. There's nobody there to pay you back. But the money's gone too. Damn it! Money's gone too. Hey, uh, Rothgar, old friend. What mm -hmm. are the chances that? Uh, I could take my new friend here, and I motion to the centaur through the uh, the armory that you, uh, that you let us pick from. Uh, he looks at the centaur. Right. 
I suppose he can have an item. Why, thank you for your generosity. Get some rest. Uh, get a get a bath first, would you? Indeed. You smell bad. And as you guys approach, he's like, "That's weird." What's that? Well, normally two members of the guild are on watch, but they're not in their assigned watch stations. Mm-hmm. Well, then. Oh, wait. Hmm. Checking my spell. Give me a second. <laughs> oh. Hmm. And you have still not seen a single person. Hmm. And actually, everybody can roll perception checks. Okay. Hey, I'd like to roll a perception check. Ah, weird. I can't see shit. You're not the only one. We must have been looking in the same place. Nope. Uh, give me a second. Twenty. Oh. Ignore that second one. I thought mine didn't roll, but it was behind. It's all right. <laughs> so, Ken, you notice. In addition to not seeing people, you're not seeing cats, feral or otherwise. You're not seeing mice, rats, bugs. Uh, Rothgar. Yeah. We need to get out of town, all of us, right now. Secretly. How would you do it? Well, it depends on what side of the city you would want to be on. How about that everything and everything is dead? Well, then that would be the shortest path, uh, which would put us to the east, or I'm sorry, to the west of the city, uh, out into the lake. I think we need to get the fuck out of here. There is nothing alive in this city. Period. So, yeah. Okay, why aren't you? So there's a river, basically it would dump us outside the city, into the river, which would flow into the lake to the north. Oh, uh, you do notice one other thing. Uh huh. Um, to the east and west. Um, mm-hmm. let's see. To the west, you see. And Ashley, I take it back. Okay, so to the west, you see one column of smoke. To the south, you see two columns of smoke. Like war camp smoke? Uh. No, it looks like burning city smoke. Yep, that was my next question. Or a city just is burnt to the ground smoke. Uh, yeah, that's it. 
it, it's pretty much city burnt to the ground smoke. Are you referring to divers that we came through earlier? Uh, that would be the direction of one of the columns. The other one would be the YG. Stupid number index is covering it up. YG numbers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't remember. <laughs> There's an index here that says what it is. And the answer to that math problem is 12. What? Oh, what? Oh, hello. Yay! Um, that's at seven plus five. Mm hmm. Times one. Does that seriously say White Plume Mountain for five? <laughs> Yep. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Are we seriously about to do White Plume Mountain? And then after that, return to White Plume Mountain. Yep. <laughs> that's, that's up to you guys. Oh, God. Well, if we're going to White Plume Mountain, we better be good at chess. That's right. Uh, I'm good at the table flip. <laughs> I know how to move pieces. Why well, the map doesn't have that city on it. Alrighty then. Come back. So, we're discussing about going to White Plume Mountain? So, actually, in this particular case, uh, so it's actually a one. And then seven and five. So uh, let's see. We have Vecna lives. <laughs> Did you just say Vecna? How about no? Yes. And Age of Work. Age or you mean AR? No, age of war. Okay, got it. Of worms. Hmm. Uh, that's that direction. If you go the other direction, uh, let's see. Puppets. Of course, you can pick directions other than those. Mm. <laughs> well, I think before we leave Greyhawk, should we not at least look at the castle and see if who we were looking for is here? Uh, if we're going to, I would say we do it quickly. Oh, that's right. Probably There's not a bad idea. Threat of imminent death. I forgot about that. Well, as I, as I said, there is nothing alive here. Not a rat, not a cat, not an insect. Mm -hmm. You want to Dr. Seuss that shit? I, I told, that's where I thought he was going. <laughs> Me too. All right, well, we can always come back. So, yeah, let's skedaddle. Uh, let's okay. One. I was First, Ray pre the treasure uh, of Greyhawk. You also need... Uh, Ben to uh, pick out his 
item from the list. Do you need oh, yeah. me to post that again? Uh, likely it's... I didn't exactly save it or anything. I, it was in the Discord. Uh, I got it here. I, I saved it. Okay. I also saved it. I'll see if I still have oh, it. Oh, okay. I'll look at it later and then. Okay. I'll, I might not have it. I've got it. I'm pasting it right now. Okay. Um. Can I help myself to a bit to the loot list? Yeah, I think everything that's on there is that we're gonna we, we that we were using has been grabbed. So I don't have a problem with it. Great. So let's see. What's the blue? What's the the state of the blue armor of the Crystal Mist Mountains? Oh, it's chainmail. Okay. Some of those did have effects that I didn't fully record so before you fall in love with one ask him if there's a a uh, negative yeah. effect also true okay well I could just actually increase my plus my mail by a plus one <laughs> Ugh. Uh. But yeah, yeah. We need to delete all the Gorzugi items. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, are you going to the Grand Citadel, or are you going to Castle Greyhawk? No, I just uh, asked if we want to, if we want to uh, treasure raid the uh, Greyhawk while while we're here and no one else is here. Or we can get the hell out. How big is your Because I mean, technically the, the Castle Greyhawk is outside of the city. Yeah. I mean, we've got enough loot to set up a kingdom already. Yeah, but they might have cool magical shit. That's true. Yeah, what the hell? Let's go look. Am I give agree? What's Which one? On? So the the citadel's within the walls, right? Yes. And then the castle is actually, yeah, the grand citadel. I see that they're northeast, right? Correct. And then Castle Greyhawk is southeast of the city, isn't it? I believe so. Oh, or, yeah, or east of the city. Yeah, it's definitely east. I just don't remember how south it was. Yeah, it's southeast. All right. Almost due southeast. Yeah, right across from the swamps. So, to the Citadel? Sure. That sounds nice. All right. And then we can check out Grey Castle Greyhawk proper. This is outside the city. Rothgar had a plan to go back to his own house, and then realized that might be a bad idea. Okay, you get to the Citadel and discover that the Citadel has been ruined. Nice. Yeah. All that remains is some towers. A black square. Tony, you're going all uh, Warhammer Fantasy end of time stuff here. <laughs> oh, uh... Can you guys see this map? Nope. Nope. Uh, yeah, black. Yeah, black. All black. Uh, well, you know, at least we didn't get stuck in a suspension pod in an airship for like 200 years. <laughs> <laughs> Did that happen? I had yeah, almost forgotten totally about that. <laughs> yeah, that totally happened in the campaign before last. Yeah. 
Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> All right. I, I got to use the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. All right. What the hell is happening? Jesus H. Christ. Where's the fucking go? Uh, can you guys see anything now? Uh, I saw the ping. I saw see the ping, but it's all black for me. Yeah, I see the ping, but I have a black rectangle. Okay, hang on. I see Gorzuki on map. Of course you do. I see right a there. thing off the side. <laughs> Let's see. Oh no. Black. Uh, Black. Not own any token with. Oh, hey! Something's loading. I saw a thing. Yay! Aha! Huh. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Nice. <laughs> This thing goes down to the Underdark. Yes, it does. Oh, that's fabulous. Hi. I, I click the button <laughs> on my mouse. Mm -hmm. Yes, and as you guys are kind of standing, looking at the towers, poking your head into and out of nooks and crannies, you start to feel a vibration. That's great. And come in. <laughs> As he flies up. <laughs> then you start to hear the drums. Drums. drums the drums, the never-ending drum beat. Drums in the deep. Yes. They're coming. Fool of a duck. <laughs> I'm back. We did yet? I missed We're you. Not yet. We're getting there. Yeah, right? man. <laughs> did you guys pick a fight without me? No. I think you someone's trying to pick a fight with us. Higher underdog. Yeah. Which is not a healthy thing for people to do. Yes. So the description I just gave them is, as you're poking your heads into and out of the ruins of the Citadel, uh, you start to feel the earth uh, tremor. And a few seconds after that, you start hearing drums. War drums. I turn to Lockhart and say, I thought the Earth didn't move until the wedding night. Well, <laughs> I mean, there's the anticipation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And the longer you stand here, the heavier the vibrations become, and um, you what? actually start hearing... Uh, synchronized footsteps. Does the hold on a sec? Question: uh, History perception. Do I is it a familiar beat? Is it the sound of 
organized orcs. Is any familiarity about it? Yeah. Uh, what, what, what do we need to so, figure this Yeah. Uh, do a history check. And uh, if anybody wants to make an arcana check at the same time, that would be hey, fine Jesus. too. I, I get advantage on those. I will. I will make. One second. Uh, One second. So my background is a soldier, so does that give me advantage? So that my eight would actually. All right, actually, never mind. My eight is the better rolling. Injury. This side, 30, 29. Ooh, 23, uh, so unless I get a nat 20, it would be 24. Craig, did you roll? Oh, I wasn't even going to bother rolling oh, for the yeah. uh, Arcana. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm not trading it. Yeah, same with Prosod, but if you want me to. No, that's fine. So, Doric... And Ken. <clears throat> Dark, you are able to discern the uh, footsteps of roughly 10,000 demons. What? Ken, you are yes, able to discern the footsteps of roughly 10,000 demons. And the footsteps of roughly 8,000 devils. We'll take them in waves. And apparently the Citadel is ground zero for a battle royale on the Prime Material Plane for devils versus demons. Okay. Well, well fuck. I think one of those burning cities is starting to sound real appealing. Yeah, uh, the the blood war is here. Do we want to run to Greyhawk Castle? I do kind of have a plan, but I don't know if I might use it yet. How yeah, much of a plan? plan? Uh, well, nuke it for more, but totally. Right. <laughs> yeah, All let right. Bishop go. Let Bishop go. Sarge, what uh, I, I want to know is how so do I wait, get out of this we're... chicken shit outfit? So I just just oh I just pull out my barrel of holy water just like not I don't have enough holy water. <laughs> you do not. <laughs> not to be a ground zero of the blood war. Yeah. The blood war is on the material plane. So let's check out Great Castle Greyhawk. Maybe we can take some cover there. If not, I do have a plan, and the problem is it may involve uh, me and Lockar's path. So, I was trying to avoid that. Our, okay. our what? Our path. Um, I would like to try to cast Forbiddance. Okay. <laughs> Does that take time? Yeah, ten minutes. It doesn't sound like we have ten minutes. No. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we need to redeploy to the rear. Time to go. Let's go check out Castle Greyhawk. Hopefully there's uh, something there. Okay. Double quick time. Double time. All right. Double time. Uh, that's going to be where we're going to stop for tonight. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, chiefly because I don't have Castle Greyhawk mapped out. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's all right. Uh, we moved a little faster through a couple of areas than I expected. Okay. You know, <laughs> you guys spent three hours trying to avoid a trap that didn't exist. <laughs> That's just D and D for you, right there. <laughs> yeah. No shit. Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, <laughs> Anthony. I'll give you a heads up. Is it a puzzle? Is it a puzzle? Sure. Anthony, I have, I have my, and my plan. 
You might want to you might want to prep a uh, cat. <laughs> okay. Because that's the that's the place that's kind of far away, and it's a good reset. <sighs> You guys are like this. My Saturday group that I'm taking through uh, the Storm King's Thunder. Uh-huh. We've got a, a young lady who started playing with us a few weeks ago. So last Saturday, her third, her third D and D game, uh, she happened to deal the the killing blow to a troll. And I said, "All right, the troll is down." Uh, her character's name is Arwen. I said, "What do you do, Arwen?" Didn't even skip a beat. She goes, "I take its head." Oh wow! You were like, <laughs> punch that geek card, girl. You just played D and D and took a troll's head off. Look out! <laughs> Didn't that, even think twice. Right sure that troll doesn't pop back up. Yeah, yeah. I take its head. Wow, brutal. You're like, well, that's the line of the character. Can't really say yeah. anything. <laughs> yeah, no prompting or anything. So, I thought it was hilarious. It was, the tears laughing at uh, And by the way, the reason why I was mentioning you, Wade, in this, I think yeah. I know where you, the, your female vampire is. <laughs> oh. Yeah. For real. <laughs> interesting. Very or interesting. I know a lead to where she is. I am very interested in following that path. Yeah. Well, it seems our two paths have linked up. <laughs> so. As was going to happen. Uh, yeah. Probably. Yeah. Y- 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 your girl made an alliance with my guy. That. <laughs> uh. And I'm assuming we both want to kill our respective. Uh... Slowly. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, and. <laughs> I'm gonna make a note with uh, with you, uh, Locker. Yeah, so, yeah. Locker is gonna take a tower shield, drill a pinhole in the center of it. <laughs> so did no one take yeah. the edge? Can we stop talking about Locker's uh, love life? <laughs> hey man, easy. No one took the edge. The hell you mean? Is that is that an oh, item? A list. Yeah, in the list, a a a, pl- a a plus nine Vorpal Amentine Greatsword that can file, fire two daggers from its pommel. These daggers act as plus three venomous returning daggers. Uh, no, because both of us can't use greatswords. I don't use greatswords. I already well, have yeah, a greatsword. Yeah, only Lockhart uses greatswords. <laughs> Until now, uh, maybe. Yeah. No, I, I, I can use a great the sword. I could take was that uh, the belt, the storm giant belt with the tensors. So I that that had more appeal than the. It's a it's an awesome sword. Grab it. Yeah. No, I, I'm just pointing out that he's the only one that does use them. Yes, that's true. That's true. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm just okay. I'm just like wow. It's a Vorpal and Mantine plus nine. Oh, trust me. I was looking oh, at yeah. it for a long time. I was like... <laughs> I looked at it, too, and I was thinking, if it wasn't a great sword, I would totally take it up. Right. I was hoping to keep reach, but uh, that's just too good. It definitely is. All right, guys. I got to step away. All right. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night, everybody. Night. Night. Hey, wait, we're putting in the edge. Hey, wait, how do you feel about taking over?